Hi, my name is Dr. Kim Egan from GenX. I would like to spend a few minutes with you today talking about the proper administration of our Room Alive Cal24 Nutritional Supplement. The Cal24 Nutritional Supplement is an aid in the prevention of milk fever. Milk fever is a reduction of calcium levels circulating in the blood. This occurs due to the increased demand for milk production near freshening. There are two basic types of milk fever, clinical and subclinical. Both types reduce muscle function progressively. The Rumalife Cal24 boluses are not to be used for cows exhibiting symptoms of clinical milk fever. These cows have difficulty swallowing, are unsteady on their feet, or may even be down. Subclinical milk fever is very common and can be diagnosed by a blood test. Rumalife Cal24 can be given safely to cows to prevent subclinical milk fever or progression to clinical milk fever. Oral calcium boluses used for milk fever prevention have been shown to improve milk production from Dr. Etzel at UW-Madison in 2010. The Rumalife Cal24 boluses should be given to cows that meet the specification in your farm's protocols. Usually, cows that are second lactation or greater or have given birth to twin calves are given the preventative treatment. The proper dose of Rumalife Cal24 is two boluses per cow given consecutively after calving. Looking at a cow's mouth, you can see there are only front teeth on the bottom jaw, then a gap between them and the molars. This gap is called the interdental space. In the back of the mouth, both the trachea, which leads to the lungs, and the esophagus, which leads to the stomach compartments, use the same exit, with a flap to determine which way liquids, food, medications, and air will travel. This is why it is imperative not to treat cows that have clinical milk fever with oral products. When you are preparing to administer Rumalife Cal24, open the package and load one bolus into the bolus gun. Never use a broken bolus as the rough edges can damage the cow's esophagus. Be sure the cow is properly restrained. Using your non-dominant arm, reach over the cow's nose while holding her jaw steady with your leg. Inserting your hand into the interdental space will encourage her to open her mouth. Next, gently place the gun into the interdental space on the near side and slide it over the back of the tongue. Use your non-dominant hand to steady the gun. As the cow swallows, depress the plunger to expel the first bolus. The gun can then be reloaded and the procedure repeated with the second bolus. Thank you for your attention and for choosing Rumalife Cal24 Nutritional Supplement.